Ashtanga Yoga system, this uh, eight uh, fold yoga system, Dan Dharana, uh, <coughs> they are meant for controlling the mind. Uh, mind, unless you control the mind, in the beginning it is said, a man must elevate himself by his own mind. Mind is the uh, drive. The body is the chariot or car. So just like if you call your, ask your driver, please get me into Krishna consciousness temple, the driver will bring you here. And if you ask your driver, please uh, get me in that liquor house. Uh, there the driver will drive you there. The driver business is to drive you wherever you like. Similarly, your mind is the driver. If you can control the... but if the driver takes your license, that wherever he likes he will take you, then you are gone. Then your driver is your enemy. But if your driver acts on your order, then he's your friend. The actually, the yoga system means they control the mind in such a way that he will act as your friend, not as your enemy. Actually, the mind is acting as my... because I have got little independence, because I am part and parcel of the Supreme who has got full independence. Therefore, I have got little independence. The mind is controlling that independence. If mind says, all right, let me go to the Krishna conscious temple. And the mind can say, ah, oh, what is that nonsense, Krishna, let us go to some club. So mind, is driving you. So therefore, uh, the, our Krishna consciousness movement is to fix up the mind in Krishna. That's all. He cannot but act as friend. You see, he has no scope to give any other, anyone place. Uh, as soon as Krishna is seated on the mind, just like as soon as there is sun sign, the sun is on the sky, there is no scope of darkness. There is no possibility. Darkness will never come before the sun. Similarly, Krishna is just like sun. You keep Krishna on the mind, the maya, darkness, will never be able to come. That is the first class yoga system. That is the perfection of yoga system. One whose mind is so strong that mind will not allow 
any nonsense to come in, then where is your fall now? Huh? The mind is strong, the driver is strong. Uh, he cannot take you anywhere unless it is there. So the whole yoga system means to make the mind strong, not to deviate from the Supreme. That is perfection of yoga Savaivana Krishna Padaravindaya. One should fix up, just like Amburis Maharaj fixed up his mind, uh, only on Krishna. And there was a fight between a great yogi, Ashtanga yogi, Durbhasa Muni. Uh, Maharaj Amburis, he was a king, he was a householder. Ah, and he was pouncing man. A householder means he has to take account of pouncing pens, eh, dollars, cents. King, he was actually king. So Durbhasamani was a great yogi. He was envious of this king. That, how is that? I am so great a yogi, I can travel in this space, and this man is ordinary king, he ca cannot show such jugglery uh, of yoga system, but still people honor him most. Why? I shall teach him some lesson. So he picked up some quarrel with the king. That's a long story. I shall state it some other day. So uh, after all he was defeated. And he was directed by Narayan to take shelter of the feet of the king Maharaj Amurish. Oh. These are instances we see from authoritative scripture that he was simply keeping Krishna in his mind and he defeated the greatest yogi. Dutbhasamani he was so perfect yogi that within one year he traveled all over this material space and beyond the material space in the spiritual space that went directly to the kingdom of abode of God, Vaikuntha, and saw the personality of Godhead personally. Still he was so weak that he has to come back and fall down on the feet of Maharaja. But Maharaj Amburis, he was ordinary king, he was simply thinking of Krishna, that's all. Uh, these instances you will see. Uh, therefore, the highest perfectional yoga system is to control the mind. And you can control the mind very easily if you keep the lotus two feet of Krishna within him. Simply think of Krishna and you are conquered. You are victorious. You become the topmost yogi. Because after all, the yoga system is yoga indriya sangyama. Yoga means to control the senses. And above the sense, the mind. So if you control the mind, the senses are controlled automatically. Ah. Your tongue wants to eat something, nonsense, but if your mind is strong, mind says, no, you cannot eat. You cannot eat anything except Krishna Prasad. Then tongue is controlled. So senses are controlled by the mind. Indriyāni parārāhu indriyabha paramanaha. Our my body means senses. So. The senses, my activities, my sensual activities, that's all. But above the senses are, is the mind. Above the mind is the intelligence. And above the intelligence is the spirit soul. So if one is on the spiritual platform, on the soul platform, then his intelligence is spiritualized, his mind is spiritualized, his Senses are spiritualized, he is spiritualized. This is the process of Krishna consciousness. 
because actually the spirit soul is working. But he has given his power of attorney to this nonsense mind. He is sleeping. But when he is awakened, the master is awakened, uh, the servant cannot do anything nonsense. Similarly, if you are awakened in Krishna consciousness, your intelligence, your mind, or your senses cannot act nonsensically. They must according to that. That is spiritualization. Oh. That is called purification. Rishikena, Rishikesa, Sevanang, Bhakti Richard. Bhakti means to act spiritually. How you can act? You have to act with your senses. Therefore, you have to spiritualize your senses. Meditation, stopping action means stopping nonsense. But acting in Krishna consciousness is transcendental. Just that you have to stop your senses acting nonsense. But that is not perfection. You have to act nicely. Then it is perfect. Otherwise, if you don't train your senses to act nicely, it will again fall down to the nonsense activities. So you have to give engagement to the senses to act for Krishna. Ah, then there is no chance of fall down. That is Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna.